With men of business, abbreviations were fashionable 30 years ago. That is, I assume it was the fashion. For it was surely not the price of paint that prompted John Acton to the J.N.O. period on his store window. As far as I know, the store is still standing in the town of Ludlow, Kentucky, across the Ohio River from Cincinnati. I don't know how it looks today, but when I came here to live as a boy in the year of 1919, it looked like this. what you'd call a big store. Not really very imposing. Even a little shabby in this life. But when I was 12 years old, ah, then it was huge and miraculous. A vast hall of shadows and black corners by night. The very center of commerce, warm and busy by the light of day. It was my people who made it that way. We did most of our living in this room. There would be my mother. Her name was Julia, and she had red hair. And everyone agreed that my mother was a saint. A saint with a sense of humor. My blessed father will not be found in this room. Only his picture to keep the looks of him fresh in my mind. His love was always fresh in my mother's heart. <laughs> ah, and here am I, Kevin Acton. And a poor fatherless child, I was not. My mother saw to that when she brought me to this house. To my great uncle, Terence. The man who could build the best kite in Kentucky and dream the best dream. To my grandfather, wonderful John Acton. The man who owned the house, bought the materials for kites, and allowed us to dream in peace. He came from Dublin in 1888, and he brought the goodness of Ireland with him. <laughs> 